This is how you can make an 8-ball command for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that memberships now are available on my channel. If you'd like to get them, you can buy the basic tier, super tier, or god tier. The super tier and god tier do have access to paste bins if you are in the Discord server, so if you would like to just copy and paste the code from these videos instead of actually typing it out, this would be an ideal way to do that. If you're interested, go ahead and click the link in the description below or click the join button next to my username. And with that let's go ahead and get started with the 8ball command. So to start off we're going to go over to community and we're going to go ahead and create 8ball.js. In here we're going to go ahead and define a few things. So we can do const, we'll do slash command builder, we can do embed builder. I'll just go ahead and do equals require and we'll do discord.js. This way I can actually tag these things that we need to require. So we can do action row builder, we can do button builder, and we can do button style. So I'm going to do module.exports equals, we can go ahead and open this up, we'll do data, we can do new slash command builder. We can go ahead and do dot set name and this will be eight ball. We can do dot set description. And in here we can do this is the eight ball game, just like that. We can add a string option for our question. So we can do option arrow function option dot set name. For the name, we can do question. And we can do dot set description. And this will be your question for the eight ball. We can do dot set required and we'll do true. We can add a comma, we'll do async execute, we'll do interaction, and we can go ahead and open this up. We can go ahead and pull the options from the interaction. So we can do const, we'll do options, and we can do equals interaction. We can do const question equals options dot get string, and in here we'll do question. We can go ahead and get our choices. So we can do const choice equals, we'll make an array. So for the purpose of saving some time, I have gone ahead and left all of the possible actual eight ball choices along with the string format copied in the description below. So you can just go ahead and paste that right into the array. After doing that, you're gonna notice that there are a bunch of different questions with the eight ball symbol right next to it. And you can go ahead and look through that. These are actually the real eight ball questions. So we can go ahead and do our math API now. So we can do const ball equals math.floor and then we can do math.random and then we can do parentheses multiplied by choice.length. Now we can make our first embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We can do dot set color and that will be blue. And we can do dot set title. And for our title, we can go ahead and actually copy one of these eight balls right here. We can add a pipe. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say interaction dot user dot username. And then we can say eight ball game, just like that. We can do add fields and we will do name. And the first name is going to be the question. We can do value. For the value, we're actually going to go ahead and just put our question in there. And we'll do inline and we'll make this true. So we can actually go ahead and copy this embed because we're going to do the same thing down here. We'll call this embed2. We can go ahead and copy this field and paste it down here as well. We'll change the name to answer. And we can change this from question to choice. In these brackets right here, we're going to do ball just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and make our button. So we can do const button equals new action row builder. We can do to add components. We'll open this up, new button builder. We will do set custom ID. And for the custom ID, we can do button. We'll do set label. And we're going to go ahead and copy another one of these eight ball things because this is pretty cool to use. And we can go ahead and paste it in and say roll the ball just like that. And we can go ahead and set a style. So set style. We'll do button style dot primary. Now we're going to go ahead and make our message. So we can do const msg equals await interaction dot reply. We can do embeds and we'll do embed and then we can do components and for our components we'll do button now we can do const collector equals msg dot create message component collector now we can go ahead and turn this on so we'll do collector dot on we can do collect and we can do async i and go ahead and open this up so we're going to do if i dot custom id equals equals we will do button we can go ahead and open this up as well. We're going to go ahead and do i.update. And for our updated embed, we will do embeds. We can do embed2. And we can do components. And components is just going to be left empty. So with that, we are actually done with the 8-ball command. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Over in the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out. So we can run slash 8-ball. We can go ahead and ask a question. So I'm going to ask, should you sub? Just like this. And we can go ahead and send it. So as you can see, it's going to say my 8-ball game as the title with the 8-ball symbol. It's going to say question should you sub and it's going to go ahead and give me a button if i go ahead and click this button it's going to go ahead and edit the message to the second embed with the answer and it will be better not tell you now so i'm going to go ahead and roll it again so we can do slash eight ball one more time should you sub just like this we can go ahead and send it we'll roll the ball 
And as you can see, it's going to give me the same exact answer. Now, this is actually pretty rare because the array is full of a lot of different choices and the math API is completely random. So to prove this is not rigged or anything, we can just run it one more time. We'll do test just so I don't have to type it out. We can roll in the ball and it's going to say don't count on it. Just for good measure, I'll do the sub thing one more time. We can say should you sub and if we send it, we can go ahead and roll it. It's going to say yes, definitely. So that's how you can make an 8-ball command for a discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help, go ahead and join the discord server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.